love the braid. Thank you. Are you just seeing it? We can't figure out What's what weird? it. Okay, so wait. Maybe you need to scoot. Maybe I need to scoot up. So we so figured out right weird. before we started that the the thing that holds the camera was upside down. So I had to fix it, and it was all like. But now I just feel like I'm not in the picture enough. Oh. There. It's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Hey. I'm so. kidding. No, I love the braid. Thank you. You said it right in the middle of our song. I it looks it so cute. You're not. You're not in the picture. Now. We're not close enough together. That's what it is. Is that? I thought you slammed your fingers <laughs> in the middle of that. Oh my gosh. That's okay. Be so bad. This is so weird, but um, you look so good. I don't know what it is specifically. I feel like my makeup is cakey here because I had to no, work all day today. I had to do tons of like Zoom interviews. So then I rested a little bit and then I went back and kind of redid the makeup and when you do that it it kind of cakes but it it's all fine. You look great. Do you know what? I ripped that one. Because when you wash and dry these shirts, I've realized that they shrink on the sides. So I both, I like tugged it down and yeah. the left side of that one ripped. But it still is cool. You so guess what? Head. We have friends in town. Um, okay, so Avery, that is my son, and your brother. My brother, big bro. Oh, I know. I forgot to put bronzer down here. Is that Go it? get it. Okay. Okay, now I'll tell the story. Um, right over there is my makeup table that we're gonna show you sometime. And it sits right in front of the Never. window. Okay, this is the bronzer I use. It's by Tarte and it's called... Oh, Mom, the YouTube way. Why won't it see it? The YouTube. Oh, there. Hotel Eris. The H is silent. Mom, you have to go like that. Hotel Eris, Tarte. Anyway, it is this color. It is that color. And so this is a great trick that I learned, but you put so much of it on. You talk while I do this. Underneath so that like it just accentuates all of your like your chin and your jawline and all that. So. Oh, we forgot. We it. need to do a beauty We're episode. Like a whole entire. But well, today is a I really I just feel fun like one. sometimes I get too much uh, concealer. So then it's like white red. Yeah. And Probably. I like your lip color. I have lip color envy. I told you to go put some on, but I actually like you tonight, like without any. Well, I like you too. I like you a lot of the time. Um, okay there. a funny few days. I might have overdone it a little bit, but this is what you do. No, it looks good. It really does. Because it's to help with, you know, like the double chin when you're double, talking. The double thing. Double bubble. You're the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, it's weird because like a whole week can go by and I don't know what we did. I oh, that's what I was going to say. We have we have guests in town. Okay. Avery lives with two guys named Adam and Avram. Adam is from Nashville. Avram, AAA. Hmm? I call them the Batteries. That's their band name. Oh, yeah, AAA Batteries. AAA. Oh, the Batteries. Isn't that cool? Yes. I came up with it so I get all the like. Okay, we need to right. scoot up because we're hitting the clothes. What? Okay. I'm just not settled tonight. You ever I have, know. What is you, wrong? You ever have one of those days no. where you're not settled? <laughs> See, I think that's what, that's what it normally is because you usually keep... I it. had it there and you go, it's too far away. And you pulled it closer. You keep changing things. See the abuse I put up with? All right. So, I have really, um, I have really fallen off the wagon. I've been touching my hair too much lately. So, I might Fall put it in a ponytail in a minute. All right. So... Avery's roommate, Avram's birthday is today. He's turning 20 today. Avery's 20, almost 20. He'll be 21 in August. Adam's 20. Mm -hmm. They all live together in East Nashville. I don't even want to imagine what their house looks like. It's fine. No, it's yeah. cute. I know it's cute because I know that you guys go over there a lot and tidy up. And Emma, and Emma. also Emma is, the is there a lot. And she, yeah, she's like the mom of the house. And mm -hmm. uh, she gives it the beautiful, what's the big deal? You have beautiful hair. 
it's only beautiful because I fix it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> no. Be. Anyway, yeah, Emma gives it the, the woman's touch that it needs. Well, they're having a party tonight, and you're going to go right after yes. to celebrate. It's a family party thing, friends. Why, what, what are you hiding? Oh, nothing. Just kidding. Sometimes my eyes are so big that it scares me. Like I, I want your lip color. Where is it? What is it's it? It's yours. I mix all of your stuff. I've done this. Go get my lip. I've done this on the live okay. like six times. I know. Okay. So, and Avram's sister, whose name is also Olivia, is here staying with us. And Olivia's friend, Belle, is here. Yes. And then Audrey. So, we've had a house full, like, all oh, weekend. Yeah. And um, yesterday was mine and Denny J's anniversary. You gotcha. talk. Um, yeah, so it was their anniversary, they went out to dinner, and, because some places are open in Nashville, and, I can't do this. You have to keep talking I and can't. there's dead air. focus. Grandmother's watching tonight. Do you want to look bad, or do you want to, No, like... but you have to keep talking. Okay, fine. So it's been a full house, it's been really fun, though, we've just kind of been hanging out, like, going to the lake a little bit. Oh, yeah, we went to the lake. Oh, On the... Oh I'm already looking better. Keep going. Okay. Um, went to the lake. We had a great time. We've all just kind of been hanging out. And like mom said, it's hard to remember what we did over the past week because we've been doing the same thing for like three months now. Yeah. And also mom is like a little stir crazy because she's not on the road. Which Very. all of us are. All of us are. So. Because we're but used to being especially. on the bus. Like all the time. Oh my god, that looks so much better. That looks great. You totally fixed it. Thank you, baby. No, I like it like All that. All right. Really? It can add a little bit of A tiny bit. Okay, go ahead and just <laughs> slap That looks good. There. Okay. Y'all, it's just hard to sit next to a beautiful 17-year-old. That's it's all I have to say. To you. It's hard to sit next to you. Whatever. It's hard to say I'm sorry. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. I just want you to stay. After all that we've been through, I will make it up to you. I promise to. And after all that's been said and done, you're just a part of me. I can't let go. Screenshots of that. We, I see so That's many. the worst. People will screenshot like in the middle of like when I'm like, I was, and it's like that. And yeah. It's gonna look, and it's, they'll post like, it. Okay. Well, I have some amazing fans, I will say, and they're so loyal. John Florentino, Rich Ruther, uh, Ron and Brenda, Carlin, of course. Um, there's so many. Ron Kowalski. Of course. Uh, Bob. But yeah, Bob Funamudo. Um, but, and I love you guys so much, and it's because, very sweet, you're a big fan, it's because you love me unconditionally that sometimes you post hideous pictures of me. Mm -hmm. And you don't, and, they don't think that they're hideous? And we're going to show you a few of those hideous pictures in a minute. Cause no, we're... okay, so we talked about, sorry, <laughs> we did, <laughs> we did, okay, what, what happened? I got caught my bracelet. Oh, I got this, a um, cute bracelet. Yes, tell them where you got talk. your dress. Okay, you so might yeah. have to stand up and show them your dress because it's just oh, that that's cute. A, that's a maybe. Um, <laughs> we went thrifting yesterday and got a bunch of cool things. And also, because it was your anniversary, I didn't really see anything for DJ, but like I got you something. Which yeah, you she show. got me the cutest bag at the thrift store. Isn't it and absolutely it's so adorable? so cute and inside. It's Don't like, show them inside. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's cute. Little, well, what's, like, who's it made by? Honestly, I have no idea. I just saw it and I was like, I, mom needs this red purse. Well, let's just show them it again. But isn't it so cute? It's perfect size for me. And I, I will tell you why. Because I like to just open my purse and find everything. Like, I don't yeah. like it to be too big where I'm like digging in it. Yeah. And, you know. And also you like... And this is my wallet. Up on its own. This is a hobo wallet. I'm showing yeah, people yeah. really intimate things about I know. Me. Like... Oh. Here's the ring I'm wearing on the album cover too. But... I need a manicure, and they just opened a few days ago. I got one. I haven't had time. Finally. Oh, wait. It looks good. There oh, yeah, is. that does work. I told you it's a thing. Wow. So this is my hobo wallet. Don't show the inside of your wait. things. 
No, I'll just show my driver's license. No, I'm gonna show your driver's license, people. I'm gonna gonna cover most of it. it. I'm gonna cover most of it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna show my picture. It's terrible. (laughs) I love this picture. (laughs) Let me see. I love it. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it's not terrible, terrible. That's like a normal. You should. You you should see mine. Sorry. I was gonna say you you want to see mine, and then I realized that it wasn't here. Mom okay. made me really nervous before. Okay, and then I got this dress that you can't really see, but it's short and it's cute. No, ah, darn it. We'll have to show them. I know. It's like, I can stand on my chair, but that's just um, too much. Um, so, let's see. You wrote down some we went You wrote two, down some notes for us to say. Course. One of them says, how's everyone been? How has everyone been? It's like Dora. It's like totally. Where is my story about Avery? <laughs> That's right. Okay, no. Okay, when Avery was little, um, he loved Dora the Explorer. And uh, so the part, and also I yell on these shows. You yell in my I'm ear screaming. the whole time. I'm screaming like, right oh now. Oh my God, Avery did this. And I'm just. I'm literally, like, all I'm doing is talking about Dora the Explorer. And I'm like, and when Avery was little, why do I do that? Because you miss being loud on stage. That's right. And I have a Southern accent when I talk on stage. <laughs> I'm like, how y'all do it? I can't even do it. I, I have, like, you have to be on. You have to be on stage. Sasha ha- Fierce. I'm Sasha Fierce. Sasha Fierce. So, anyway, Avery loved Dora the Explorer, and he was such a perfectionist. He still is, and he said, "I'm not messing with my hair, but something itching me." Okay, he said, <laughs> or when, whenever she would say, like, my favorite part of the day was when we climbed the mountain and we found the backpack and blah, blah, blah. And then she would say, what was your part? And then I would look over at Avery and he'd be like, um, oh, ma, and he would get ready and she would go, that's great, thanks for watching. And he would start bawling, like, I mean, Dora. bawling, crying. And it really did piss me off at Dora the Explorer. I I'm like, honestly, you, you're not, it's like, give us a little bit longer. You need to care about these kids. Yeah, she'd be like, which one is the map? And he'd be like, uh-huh. That's right. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Dora. But. Avery also used to play uh, the game Operation when he was uh-huh. little. And we have a video of him saying, because he kept touching the thing. And, you know, bram, bram, and that's just like the worst. Like it's if you know too. Avery. You're like shaking. It's the worst thing for him, for his personality. Mm-hmm. Like I should have never let him play Operation. That's where it all started. Yeah, just it just made, it's like I was, sorry, I scratched you. It's like I was making him be a perfectionist or something or whatever. And so he finally just like, it broke his heart and he goes, I'm not going to play if I just keep woozing. Because yeah. he used to not be able to say his L's. Oh my God, he's so, so cute. cute. But um, you were the cutest. I was, don't even lie. Mm-hmm. Oh, we should have pulled that baby picture. Well, Libby has, has oh yeah, I think I've shown this one before. Do it the way so the YouTubers cute. do. No, it's impossible because it's a picture. Yeah. I'm really, really, really stupid. That's my bad side, Libby. Yeah, why'd you post that way? And why, Libby? You used to not know how to Audrey. smile. Remember how we said you said I went through a phase. Uh, show them how you used to smile. Let's pretend to take a picture. Wait, wait. Oh wait, I have to stop. You no, it was this. Like... You go. No, I would yeah. go like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he lifts your touch. I top, try top to, lip. Yeah, top I lip. Oh my god. Little... I just had a glitch. Okay. Oh, well. So what else is on the list? Wait, I want to show sh- something. So yeah. like I was like excited because I really wanted to show mom this thing. And so I got a new toothpaste toothpaste brand. Have you been drinking? Day. No, I have not. Did I'm you drink 17. at the lake today? No, we really I did not. Mm. Which Do I you guys drink. believe her? If, I never if she can say beans five times without laughing or smiling, oh. then she's telling me. So I've the never truth. been good at this. Say beans John five Bean, times. Get your head out of the gutter. Say beans five times without laughing or smiling. I did not. Let me hold on. Just I'm not good it. at this. You make me nervous because I look at. Okay, I'm gonna look at myself then. But that makes me laugh even more. So look at the shoes. Hold <laughs> on. Just tell us what it is. Okay, fine. I was not wanting to do that. Beans, 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 beans. Okay. Good job. I knew I would, you should make me nervous. So, I bought this thing. This isn't the toothpaste brand, but it's all we got. Someone just posted, I can't. <laughs> Neither can we, Alicia Buford. We can't either. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. I know. Look, so when you're... Okay, yeah. When toothpaste. When you're toothpaste and you're trying to, like, you know, get it up to the top because it's running low, 
you go like this and you take this handy thing that came with this new toothpaste brand. I'm struggling majorly. Oh yeah, it slides on and the bottom like of the toothpaste. Yeah. Look how cool. And you roll it up. That's amazing. Isn't that? That's literally genius? something that should have been on Shark Tank. It probably was. Now look, and then you take it out, and it's all. Oh, you can't see it. It's all rolled up right there. I'm literally gonna have the easiest time brushing my teeth tonight. I know. How great. Thank is that? you. You're welcome. I really. I was really it. excited to show mom. So. Now I have toothpaste in my hand. Okay. Um. It, we have a really special guest tonight. Very special. I'm guest. so excited. If you don't know who we're having, we're, we're going to talk about it in a minute, but I'm really but excited. But first, we want to do something. We talked about a while ago doing some best and worst outfit reviews, like red carpet moments with mom. I hope you have the good ones saved because, like, there are so many that I just. And as you know, may or may not know, we just learned how to show pictures on this. Um, that are, oh gosh, someone's here and the dogs are going crazy. Can't be good. Okay, so. I have, so it's weird. You th you feel like you have a good outfit on and then when you see pictures of it or like even I, like or a while ago I had on a shirt. As soon as I got on the camera, I was like, the shirt looks terrible. So mm -hmm. it, it's just a matter of the way it reads. Um, I mean, unless you're you and then everything looks good on you. No, there have been nights Everything used to look like, good on me. When everything I was, looks good on you, don't lie. No, everything used to look good on me. But not some things, let's be honest. But no, but no. some things were just with the times. No, okay? they so were we're gonna severe. show you some pictures. They were severe. Wait, I got a brace we touch? though. Yeah, I think so. Oh God, I'm scared. I got this, woman. Okay, right. don't touch anything. I'm not, I'm not. Okay. No, I want your red carpet moments. You chose the wrong ones. You I found some bad ones. No, these well, are good. No, here's some bad ones. Okay, so we're gonna show some bad pictures of me. I'm just gonna <clears> pull me. them up. Hold on. Here's one. Now that is a stupid outfit. What That's were Kaylee and I thinking? Stupid outfit. Why? Okay. The reason I wear belts, I will tell you this. I have the best one. Why do you think I wear belts? Oh, I know why. To for my p belt pack. Oh. Okay. And because sometimes like the jeans are too high or whatever, and you can't reach it, so I like to put a belt there just to put my pack on. So much easier. Yeah. Wait, no. Let me. Here's do another it. horrible outfit. I have the best. <laughs> Had to have been Fourth of July. It was around the Fourth of July, but I'm also like, I'm I'm up in my weight in that picture, so whatever. So it just looks bad. Most okay. of these pictures are We're from done John with Florentino's. You. We're done with yours. Wait, what are you doing now? No, no. Remember, you have to slide all the oh, way yeah, over. Yeah, we always do that. I'm so terrified. I'm the this. one who has the best ones. Okay. 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 Number one choice for me of bad outfit. I'm not going to do the worst, the worst, but let's start with like a pretty bad one. Let's start with this one. <laughs> this is number one. That's how do you get the hair down a little there? Cause the, the ring lights in it. Okay. This let's is just examine this outfit for a minute. You're ACMs. Not, you have blonde, major blonde highlights. Bangs. No, wait. These are fake bangs. Okay, that okay, makes that's it worse. Isn't that weird? That we, makes it worse. We parted my hair in the middle and then we glued those bangs on. That makes it much and worse. And I saying real fun place to start. So, yeah, You're wearing you shiny it. diamond earrings. Okay. Um, the let me makeup put it that way. Can you guys frosty. see the pictures that she's yeah, holding up? Okay. Look at those jeans though. They're terrible. You are wearing rainbow shoes. And look at the jeans. Pull and them back. And look at those Jeans. They're they just, have rhinestones on the bottom. Wow. And they're dorky. They're not even, like, they don't they're fit not anywhere. No, they're awful. You mm -hmm. And you're carrying some sort of fringe satchel. But I sang Real Fun Place to Start. No, it was right after Audrey was born. This is a really bad outfit. So, I mean, I was doing okay. I just had a baby. Okay, not, here's one when I was pregnant with you. No, wait, I'm not there yet. I mean, that's the worst one I have to say about That me. is the worst. Show the one when I was pregnant with Avery on the red carpet. I'm going to give that last one a solid, like, Four, probably. I have some bad ones. This was before I had money, though. That is bad. Look at that. I look pretty, though. How freaking 2004 is that? No, it's 1999. That's, oh, that's Avery, Avery in my stomach. So 90s, even more. I can't even handle it. Wait, lower look it down that. just a little bit. It's in, okay, there. But my face looks fine. Oh, yeah, you're beautiful. But we have that dress that made. Dress Can you believe we chose that? color. Look at the <laughs> sleeves. Look at the sleeves. 
That wouldn't look good on Gigi Hadid. That would not look good on anyone, ever. Okay, thank you. Move on. This is number, I'm gonna give this one. Well, also, I, you're holding like a mini purse. Shut up. All I, well, it was before cell phones. So I didn't even need a purse for yeah, a cell phone. No, your face is always Hurry, beautiful. they're gonna get bored. Move on. Let's move to this bad boy. That one's pretty good. You're gorgeous in the face, but no, I just lower it. can't handle. I'm trying to show the shoes, woman. Oh, it's boots, yeah. Why, <laughs> of all shoes, did and you wear these with that beautiful Hey, I've got good leg muscles going on. So why would you hide them ever with boots? I don't understand. Those are also just not cute. But you're What's going gorgeous. on in this closet now is so much better than what used to be going on. Oh, of course. I'll just say that. This is pretty Okay, iconic. this is when I'm pregnant with Audrey. The, I'm cute, though. You're cute, but look at your look at your glasses. But I'm pregnant. But it doesn't matter. And I'm you were only... Time listen period. to me. You were only 13 months old there. Yeah. No, I know. So what the hell? I mean, I literally... How was I even out of the house? I don't know. But you're pregnant wearing a with denim my skirt, third child. A oh, yeah, denim skirt. skirt. Okay, move on quick. You're gonna get bored. You look like Liv Tyler. No, now. I look like Kate plus eight. That's true. <laughs> this, this is <laughs> a work of art. Hurry! Why are you rushing me? I'm afraid we're boring. These are so funny. Okay, show them. Stop rushing me. I'm sorry. This is a special one. Okay, your face is gorgeous always, and like your body is good and everything. Like, there's nothing wrong with you. You were a baby. It's just that dress. I don't know who put... My stylist at the time was Claudia Fowler, and she's awesome. I'm telling you, Livy, that was a good dress at the time. Pull it in, and that's a pretty picture. Pull that in. Of course. That's what I said. You're gorgeous. And also, that necklace is a very odd choice with that dress. I don't know. We'll talk to Claudia. What's going she, on. But that was in 2003, so I'm sure there it was cute. There are those tiny pumps. Of course. Always. But I think that, like, Kim Kardashian would wear this today. Like, I think she would. Sometimes like Kim Kardashian. Sometimes I remind myself of Kim Kardashian. I'm not, I don't okay. mean that weird. But, like, the picture that I posted on Instagram yesterday where I'm my profile. Okay, show them this one. I know. I gotta do a bad one. You have to hurry. This one's terrible. Everyone's commented and said it's not boring. It's really funny. Okay, good. Okay, go. Show this them. is bad. This is really bad. And this is more current. Like, I don't understand how, like, Kate That is not this. current. Baby doll, that is. Not 2006. Current. That's pretty current to me. Audrey was So I was two... definitely alive. Yeah, you were alive. You probably are the That's one that picked a terrible that dress. I probably dress. wore that dress for you because you wanted me to wear that's it. That's a terrible... Like, it's just not And flattering. the hair, every, nothing. No, But, but your that's face the year. is beautiful. And look at you're wearing a zebra clutch. That's the year... A zebra clutch. My stylist at that, that time, her name was Trish. Trish Townsend was my stylist then. I don't like it. I'm going to give it a solid... <laughs> Six. Do that one. That's the worst of ever. That's the worst ever. I don't even know this what This is the not hell. you. This can't be you. I don't even know what was going this on. This can't be you. <laughs> I'm pregnant with Avery there though, I will say. Doesn't matter. Why? What? You're wearing those... You are literally yeah, wearing see, those famous sunglasses. Said everything that you're showing was pretty at the time. No. This is bad. <laughs> this is... This is I Show would, the one where I'm pregnant with Audrey. With that short And you're holding a frappuccino and a card. Like you a can't Starbucks keep looking card. at the picture and not showing them things. And look at the shoes. You're wearing like white platforms. Those are awful. But show them the shoes that you have on right now. Let me see, let me see one. People are going to say that this was so dorky. No, those are cute. In 15 years. No, those no they're are cute, cute now, right? Am I right, y'all? When was that? Um, wait, hold I on. Don't, I don't understand. Wait. <laughs> you, need a, you need a gay stylist. I volunteer as tribute. Okay, well, we um, can do better than that. You're now, right. let's get to the worst of the worst, and then just we'll move DM to the me. good ones. Oh, wait, this is not the worst, but also I just want to talk about these shoes. Let's talk about how pregnant I was with Audrey, and I was hiding it so well. Look at the shoes, though. Neon green with a striped black and white dress. And that also, dress is similar to the dress you have on right now. I like the dress. I don't hate the dress. But why the am I standing green. like Kate plus And eight. every photo of you at this thing, you go... I was probably trying to be like Kate plus eight. Like that. I don't understand. Why do I hate Kate plus eight? I don't know. Now, okay. <laughs> this is the... No, oh, that's dorky That's too. pretty bad. That's pretty bad as well. I mean, that's, that's not as bad. I'll that give hair that is kind of cute. Wait, lean it down a little. I'll give that a solid seven. Here. Okay. Just a couple more. Bad. 
I have to say, when I'm I found with you this, in this photo, picture. it's your fault. I was. It's your fault. I'm pregnant with you in every way, shape, and form, and I never really want to see it after this night again, unless I wear it to Halloween. Shut them. This is Unless you what? wear it on Halloween. Yep. I really don't know. That was KK, I That's will say. Un But it was cute at the time. I would never I I don't know what to say. I think those look like PJ pants. They look and like pajamas. You And look I was like, so nauseous. Your fingernails look pretty. But I was thanks. pregnant with you, baby doll. And you're wearing a choker. And your hair is straight. <laughs> My hair is straight and it's that terrible and mid, -length. mid length where it hits your shoulder. And I can't pink, do mid length hair. The pink metallic clutch goes perfectly with that top. That was KK. This is a two. This or less. And you're again wearing the shiny <laughs> flat <laughs> heels. And I don't know what to oh say. Oh my god. All right, let's move on. All right. That was terrible. So yesterday was our anniversary. Oh, it's showing that. That's really good. This is what I post for today. Playboy. <laughs> Now, I look amazing there. You look amazing. Show them, no, show them, show them, show them. No, no, no. It's look not. how amazing I look there. That's yeah. the best I've ever looked. Mom, well, you wish. It's not me. No, that's better. Someone superimposed that. It. Would I pose for Playboy? I mean, really. I just want I to show not. a couple good ones. You can't even find it. That's cute. I love this dress that you wore. I that's actually love it. Danny J and I were dating. I'm not gonna lie. Show that really one. Like that was pretty. That's a Reem Acra. Look, I wore this to my ball. Oh yeah, you wore that to your ball. Reem Acra made that for me, and that's a fake ponytail. So I've got like my hair just all pulled back in a low bun, and that fake ponytail. I this love this. This is my best this. body ever. Oh my gosh. Best body ever. No, okay. According to let's you. body shame myself. No, mom. No, I'm kidding. I mean body praise. Go back. I love that it. one's but amazing. No, we don't. Please, no, never. I want to look at myself in that picture again. This is the, my favorite though. You're of all so time. mean. That's, that's when favorite. I won. Go down a little. That's when I won female vocalist of the year. That's so you can see favorite. how happy I was. I love it. Um, you look amazing. Thank you, honey. And that dress is kind of. Please like, show iconic. the little silver one one more time. Never. Why? You just don't want to show people that at one time I looked better than you. As no, I love that. <laughs> I love that. I I think I'm you're kidding, y'all. We're kidding. Every way. We're kidding. Okay, so um. Moving on. Moving from, on. I want to show another I'm picture. Still appalled. Okay. Can that, will that play, y'all? I'm so ob a, no. obsessed with TikTok. What the hell? Stop saying that. What do you what do? What do you do? What the hell? What the hell? Stop. What the hell? What the hell? How does that go? Stop saying that. I'm obsessed because I can only imagine that that little kid who's actually saying that because you know y'all used to oh there's a picture. Y'all used to like say bad words, but when you're little you enough, know. you don't think. I mean, as the parent, you don't really get onto it because it's funny and you're not going to remember it. But there I am again with the terrible bangs. My mom, who's beautiful, she's looking at you like laughing. That's she my brother Jay, and that's my little sister Leslie. But. She is the one who started me out with all the bad hairdos. Oh, I know. So, it, she is to blame, no question. Mm -hmm. Here's a cute outfit. Um, Thank you. Isn't that cute? That's a picture of me and... Nope, you zoomed in on us. Oh, <laughs> fix it. You, you did. You're no, fine. I didn't fix it all the way. Yes, you did. My OCD makes it have to be Look, perfect. It's, it's finished. No. No, you're no. not okay. doing it right. That's cute. Um, this is one of my favorite stage outfits. Love it. That I've ever worn. That's, that's where a belt is good. But anyway, really quick, um, that is me and Daddy J. So cute. Yep. Yesterday. Oh, this is the worst outfit that I've ever had ever. You're gonna show this wow. ever. Who would That's post that? Awful. John Florentino posted that because he secretly hates me. That is my biggest fashion faux pas that I've ever had. That's one in my life. I think the pink suit is worse. No, no, no. This is the worst because I actually like this makes me look like not even me. And it, it was a really bad time, like, I'm not going to lie. But still, why? And then go back to that. Love it. And that's not too long after that. No. So, I mean, it's just what a, outfit. the difference that an outfit can make. That like, was this year. The BMI's. Yeah, that was just this year at the, what BMI's. was it? BMI Awards. I love that dress. That dress is hanging right here, y'all. Yeah, where is it? It is. <gasps> here it is. Yeah. See? It's, like, so cool. Isn't that cool? Now, 
Let me just say, look at these gold or neon shoes that are so cute. They're also well, here somewhere. Well, let me do that. No. Okay. Um, in 15 years, you'll make fun of those. No, I won't because it, it's perfect with that dress. It's not like you, okay. like, look at if this. you wore polka dotted shoes with that dress, it would be weird. I need to put my face in there. <laughs> so that is our wedding day. That was um, June, <laughs> June 14th, 2008. Yes. Um, my dress was uh, who? Vera Wang. Yeah, Vera Wang. KK and I went, just the two of us. We picked up that beautiful gown. We got married. Um, you and KK, right? KK and I got married, basically. Yeah. <laughs> We've always been married. But, um, okay, gotta go all the way back. I'm so scared. And these are, yesterday was our anniversary and Denny J sent me those flowers. Aren't they beautiful? So pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, so to go all the way back and say no more pictures. There we are again. No more okay. pictures. And then do we need to hit this to make sure it's all fine again? It is fine. Yeah. It seems really dark now, doesn't it? Your uh, brightness went down a little bit, but it's fine. Should you brighten it? I mean, sure. Hold on. Try it. No, I'm saying the ring light. Should you brighten it? Because it got dark outside. No, that's horrible. I know. I don't Something's like wrong. That. I think we need a new ring. What is happening? No, it's fine. It's just it got darker. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Fine. Okay. So anyway, I look really weird right now. No, you don't. You're just like weirded out because it got dark. I think. <laughs> I don't know why it got dark. Here, let's try the blue. No, I hate the blue. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I saw that you liked it as soon as I did it. See, but you're more lit. What's going on? I I am lit. Okay. <laughs> Our special guest, tell you guys tell us if that lighting is terrible now. I like it. It's not as bright, but it looks good. It's kind of cool. Um, your eyes look humongous and mine look like little slits. I know. I okay. can't help it. I think I need to put more lipstick on before we invite our guest on so I look pretty. So, somewhere in this house, we have a special person. We have a special you. guest. And um, this is what you do to make sure you don't have lipstick on your teeth. Oh, I know. We do that. And then, do I? No. Okay. So, let's bring him on, shall we? I think we should. Um, the kids, call, they call, you named him Daddy J. Daddy when, J, DJ. When we got married, so you call him Daddy J, DJ. Um, and so I just usually call him Daddy J all the time now, too. Like, that but, has become his name. My friends call him that. Like, it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, it, it brightened again. See? Yeah, I don't know. Some weird happened. It's just your phone glitching. That looks good, though. Okay, so we asked him if he would come on tonight since our anniversary was yesterday and we couldn't find anybody else to come on the show. Yeah. And he agreed. And um, so let's welcome him in. It is my husband, Jay Barker. Where is he? I can do it. Okay. We always fight. Daddy Jay, you have to be on. There he is. See if this works. And I hope he got his lighting set up. Jay, are you coming on? Why didn't you just walk in here? Hi! Hey, hey, what's up? Hello. Where are what's you? What's up, baby? What's up, Liv? Where am I at? Yeah, where are you? <laughs> no, not I'm in the at. dining room. So your light is a little bright, right mid. Yeah, it got brighter. Tap on your face. Tap on your face on the screen. <laughs> oh, tap on my face? Oh, there yeah. we go. That looks good. That looks good. That's better? <laughs> Yeah, you look great. So, happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary to you. I mean, I can't believe it's been 12 years. 12 Liv, years. I'll never forget. Liv was, what, four? Four and a half, 12, five years old? 12 years of absolute joy for you. It has been unbelievable for absolute. you. Absolute. I mean, just, <laughs> you can't even believe how lucky you are. No, I, I do know how lucky you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, you uh, are no, here I, in I'm the very, dining room. I'm very blessed to have you. Thank and you, I love babe. you so Me much. Too. 12 best years of my life. And, you know, I, I didn't just gain you. I gained three kids that are phenomenal. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. that's right. So you have four children and I have three. So together we have seven. We're like the Brady Bunch with, mm -hmm. with one Bunch. extra. And from day one, we, we had seven kids together. And it was just like, boom, boom, boom. So we, mm -hmm. never had our, we never had a relationship where it was just the two of us. Um, but we've always been a really great team. Like we would go to Alabama games, um, Six Flags. Yeah, I mean, it, you name it, and you and I would just handle the beach. Oh yeah. 
I mean, it's a wonder that, you know, we didn't lose one in the ocean. We lost one. <laughs> they were everywhere. They well, you there. always, she, mom always goes all the way out to the second sandbar. And so she mm -hmm. wanted to take the kids every year. And Avery would stand on the side on the beach and just go nuts. And yeah. start yelling, mom, so come scared. back, come back. And you would take them out every single year. And I'll be honest, it, it scared me sometimes. I'd watch you out there with all six because Avery wasn't there. Uh, he didn't want to go out that far. But um, Tell him I was thinking to myself, what what, if something of? happened, how do I get there fast enough? Yeah, yeah exactly. How would But it was fun. I don't recall ever having any lifeguards on the beach. We didn't. Yeah. But tell him what Avery was scared of. Um, I guess like sharks and stuff. Shark or, or, yeah. Because oh, they would, yeah. you guys would always watch Shark Week. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Soul Surfer. Like and Soul Surfer, yeah. yeah. So we'd go to the beach. But I love to swim, and I'm, you know, Denny Joe, you can attest to the fact that I'm very athletic, even though you are the professional athlete. I'm also very athletic. So why don't you just brag on, on me about that for a second? Yeah, I will. So our first date, we went to, um, we met at Starbucks. I followed Sarah to Philstone Park. We get out. She's driving a little convertible, and uh, I'm in a truck. And we get out, we look at each other in our gloves. We have the exact same style of glove, oh. softball glove. Well, one, so we one knew right then. What's one that? correction. One correction. Okay. I had Evans on mine. You had Barker on yours. Not Jay and Sarah. But they were written in the exact same spot. Am I okay. right? I thought it was Jay and Sarah. It could have Maybe been. not. It doesn't matter. But anyway, so, we were um, shocked. What's that? We were shocked. Like oh, we were shocked, yeah. So we got to start throwing, and, and I'm, you know, just wanting to barely throw it to her because I don't want to mess up that beautiful face. And she starts telling me, throw it harder, and then she starts slinging it at me. And I'm like, she plays softball? She's like, yeah. I mean, she, you know, she's very humble. It's like, I'm, I was a first team all state third base. <laughs> and oh, yeah. They're very, oh, yeah. One state titles, all that kind of well, stuff. If I so, don't tell people what a great athlete I am, they're not going to know. Yeah, no, they won't. That's yeah. true. But yeah, you're a phenomenal athlete. Like, I was so impressed um, just with your arm, your athleticism. And then you used to race the kids all the time when they were little, and none of them could beat you. They no, might not no. even beat you now. <laughs> None of the kids could beat me all the way, I think, till like, even the boys were, like, 15 or yeah. something. Oh, and I yeah. would beat them in a foot race. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how else you can race. <laughs> all <laughs> fours, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday was our 12-year anniversary. Yeah. Um, we went to Josephine's, which is a great little restaurant here on 12th Avenue. Um, mm -hmm. We ate way too much. Way too much. Um, we had an amazing bottle of red wine. Oh, yeah, I need to tell people about that. It's called Bev... What's it called? Eberly. 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 It was Eberly. so great. So um, good. But, yeah, that was fun. And then we, we had just a nice, chill evening. Because there's not a lot to do because... Corona. Corona. Mm -hmm. But normally I'm on the road during our anniversary. Yeah, that was the first the first time we've ever been in Nashville for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I kind of had it planned up. We were going to get Starbucks to the Starbucks. We were, I was going to go throw softball. And then the morning just kind of got away from us and kids stuff and all that. But then we ended up going up to, out to Josephine's and um, we had a great time. It was kind of interesting because watching all the social distancing they did and how they brought this stuff to us and everything was already put, like you, you got to get your own plate, you got to get your own silverware, all that type of stuff. So, but it was that's a great restaurant there on uh, 12th. It is. Yeah, all the um, waitresses were wearing masks and oh, yeah. tables were six feet apart. So it was, it was kind of weird, but it kind of made it more private. I liked it. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk about you, Denny J. What, tell everybody what you do and where they can hear your radio show. T talk about your history as an athlete and how you came up in sports. All right, I'll try to give a quick flyover. Um, so at five years old, I started playing football, and believe it or not, full pads. I mean, like today's age, people just don't even think about letting their kids play at that age. But my dad took me out, thought that I would go through some hits, get hit hard. I would hate it, would leave. But instead, I absolutely loved it. And I got, I got knocked down the first time, got back up, and just loved that adrenaline rush that I had. And so from there, I played, um, began to play baseball at six and basketball at seven. So I played football, basketball, and um, – in, in baseball from seven all the way through high school and, and actually had offers in basketball and baseball as well as football. 
for so scholarships. You're doing three sports a year, year round. Year round, which is so different, which, you know, you know, we talked about that with the boys. It was so tough for them to, to have that same chance because it's just different now. The training is just so intense. Mm -hmm. And especially in the summertime, I mean, they would be up there if they were doing all three sports, which they did to about ninth grade. They would go work out and do football till nine in the morning, have about an hour break, basketball midday and then baseball at night. It was a full day for them. Yeah, it was crazy. So um, a lot different then. And in my seventh and eighth grade year. I took baseball off and played tennis. I played uh, Birmingham City League tennis. And that's where yeah, we are great. love for tennis. Yeah. yeah. So from there, I went to uh, get a scholarship, University of Alabama, played there, was there for five years, redshirted. I played um, started starting quarterback for three and a half of those years and won a national championship my sophomore year, 92. We had a great team. Um, we're all still very, very close. Uh, and you were very popular in Alabama because – you're still the most winning, the winningest quarterback in, at Alabama, right? Yeah, I mean, I had just a ton of great, like I told you, just great teammates, great players, great coach, Gene Stallings. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it was our senior class at the time was the winningest senior class until Saban got there. And now they've had about four or five of those that have broken that record. And they play more games than we did at that time. But, yeah, um, but yeah still, A.J. McCarron went past me for, like, one game, and then they lost, so then I reclaimed it back, so – we, uh, me and my so friends. So what's your record? Wait, let's see if I remember his record. Okay. 35, 2, and 1. 35, 2, and 1. That's it. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, I listen. I know you did. I remember when we first got married, we would watch all of your old games. Um, because I just, you know. Didn't. It wasn't me showing you. You asked to watch them. Yeah, because I never yeah. knew you, <laughs> like, playing football. And so. Right. Okay, so then you got drafted to the Packers. Drafted by the Packers and was there for spring or for uh, summer camp and then left uh, there, went to uh, the New, New England Patriots, was with them for a year and a half, and then was with the Carolina Panthers for a year and a half, and then went to the CFL, played with the Toronto Argonauts for three years. And that to me, that was, and I've told you this, some of the funnest football I've ever played in my life because. In Canada? Yeah, Canada and XFL because everybody there has, besides the Canadians have been cut or fired at some point in time in their career. So the player's been cut, the coaches have been fired. Now they're looking for an opportunity to play. So there's no egos. Everybody's very humble. The locker room, just the way guys treat each other, is just so different. The yeah. NFL is such a business. One of my uh, radio partners, Trent Richardson and I, which a lot of the Bama fans and even football fans remember. Tell who Trent, Trent Richardson is, real quick. Yeah, Trent was Alabama running back. He was drafted third overall. Uh, he was, like myself, a Heisman uh, finalist um, mm -hmm. coming out his senior year. And so we do a radio show together with Antonio Langham, who was also a Jim Thorpe Award winner, played nine, almost ten years in the NFL with the, uh, the Browns and uh, also the Ravens and I think the San Francisco 49ers. Mm -hmm. And then Lars Anderson is our other partner. It's kind of like we got the three football players and then we have a journalist. And Lars is fantastic because he has 20-plus years experience at Sports Illustrated. So he's – a just great mind. He, he asked a lot of questions that we as players would never think about. And we asked the questions that he would never think about. So there's a lot of really good balance uh, yeah. in that. And gets a lot of great discussion going. And we, we try to take deep dives. We've we got seven station affiliates. We are across the state of Alabama, three on the Gulf Coast, hoping to have one in Nashville, Memphis, and Chattanooga. So cover Tennessee, Alabama, all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And um, if we can do that, that'll be, be awesome. We have 10 affiliates, which are stations right now and uh, continue to grow. And if you want to listen to us, you can also download our flagship uh, stations app. It's Tide 100.9 FM. I think that's T-I-D-E. T-I-D-E. Right, World Tide. <laughs> right. Tide. And um, uh, Tide 100.9 FM, and that's the, uh, our, our official flagship station out of Tuscaloosa. They've got a great app. You can download that and listen to us worldwide. And Olivia actually just took over your um, – show instagram so follow him at j barker seven or follow him what is it Libby? the j barker show the j barker show mm -hmm. and so most of your of the posts that will be on um the oh wait talk about Dabo. what does ron say talk about Dabo being your receiver yeah Dabo swing yeah j barker show olivia's running his yes his I am. instagram page and she's doing a great job because i am way too i mean i just get too distracted to get all that stuff done and uh -huh. she does a great job. I'd love to have her as my producer my show because she produces a lot of what you guys do. She produces Cause of Chaos every she week. She does, <laughs> yeah. But she was also in broadcasting and, and loved it and has all these interviews after the high school games in Mountain Brook where she, she was at that time, what, eighth or ninth grade and she's interviewing these guys and just 
unbelievable skills Thank as far you. as being able to yeah, interview it. and stuff. Yeah. So uh, if you don't make it in music, which you will, um, you got to have a broadcasting career. <laughs> exactly. I have a background. Have That's a right. Plan. You got to get a B, plan B. Um, okay, so wait, what were we going to, oh, somebody wanted you to talk about Dabo really quick and your friendship with Dabo Sweeney. Yeah, and Dabo. And who Dabo was, Sweeney is. Uh, what's that? And tell them who Dabo Sweeney is. Yeah, so Dabo was my wide receiver, um, 92, really, really 90, 91, 92, 92 was his senior year. He, um, he played a lot, especially on special teams. He played, um, some as far as a receiver, but he was kind of our fourth or fifth guy kind of down the line, but he was just such a hard worker. Um, had a really tough situation uh, with, with his with his mom and, um, and and some things that happened to the family. He's talked about it and written about it, so I'm not saying anything that's not there. But she lived with him while they were in college because she didn't have any money. And so he was providing for her, giving her a place to stay. But she was working and still doing stuff, and she wanted to be close to Dabo, and he's got two other brothers. And, um, and Dabo actually came from one of his brothers that used to say, that boy did it. But he couldn't say, that boy did it. He said, Dabo did it. That's where Dabo came from, his name, if people don't know that. But Dabo is a um, great uh, football mind. He's been a, been a great friend uh, over the years, and has just done a tre tremendous job of building the Clemson program. I mean, Clemson um, – for, for all of our watchers who might not know this, he's the coach for Clemson who has recently mm -hmm. just, like, exploded. He, it's kind of like when Nick Saban came to Alabama. Like Dabo's doing that with, at Clemson. And they, have they won the last two national championships? No, well, they've – I forget how I many. He's got two now or three. I, but I, the thing about Dabo, this, this is the thing about him. So his story, like I talked about, he's always been the comeback kid. He's always been the guy that's kind of had everything against him. So he gets out of coaching. Uh, Coach Dubose had gotten fired at Alabama. And he's back home doing commercial real estate. And so he did that for about two years. He asked me and some other guys to go to lunch with him throughout this week and was telling all of us about the fact that Tommy Bowden at the time, who was the coach at Clemson, wanted him to come back into coaching and, and coach wide receivers at Clemson. But he was making really good money doing commercial real estate, not having to travel as much because no recruiting. But his wife, uh, Kathleen, uh, had told him, she said, I, I really wish you would take the job because I'm sick of seeing you around the house. Because <laughs> she was so used to having her own schedule. You know, oh, I know how that feels. Wait, what? Yeah, so, Dab <laughs> <laughs> so, so Dabo um, ends up going back. And then a year and a half later, Tommy Bowden steps down halfway through the season and tells the administration they should hire Dabo as the coach, as the interim coach. Well, then they went on and had a great finish to the season, and that's how he got hired as Clemson's head coach. If he doesn't come back, if Tommy's the one that comes back, doesn't quit, and he takes over the job, then it's a totally different scenario for Dabo right now. But he's done a great job. And what I does say is Clemson is just so different because Danny Ford was the last national champion uh, coach at Clemson. He was also a former player at Alabama. And now Dabo's there as a former player. And, and a lot of coaches who were part of that last national championship are actually on his staff. Woody McCorvey, um, McCorvey uh, Danny Pierman, some other guys that were there at the time that also were at Alabama when I was there. So really excited for Dabo and is so proud of what he's done. He's, he's the, the name of it, the, they call themselves the coaching staff. They call them the Clemson Tide. It's oh, Clemson yeah. Tide. yeah. That's their That's, that's so kind of the cool. behind the scenes nickname, Clemson Tide. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, yeah, it was weird because I'm from Missouri. People, I mean, most people know this. And you are from, you actually are from Alabama. You didn't mm -hmm. play there. Um, and so when Missouri joined the SEC, it was really weird in our house for a couple of years because Missouri was good right mm -hmm. when they joined the SEC. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they won we actually, these. like, yeah. played, we played mm -hmm. Bama. But um, I had, I just had to, like, take a stance on a couple of those games and, and root for Missouri while you mm -hmm. root for Alabama. Um, but we, we kind of got our butts kicked. And now we're now Missouri's not good anymore. I know. Yeah, they had that run. They had some really good players. And, um, you know, I, I think they'll get it back. And, and you got to remember, too, they went through all that stuff that went on in Ferguson and all that that really killed the campus life, you know, really, really yeah. took down the campus population. And just a lot of things happened that kind of – went against them at that time but um but they'll be back i mean it's been yeah. fun because you sang the national anthem when alabama played there and then you sang the national anthem for the iron bowl with that and that was 2008 i think right after we got married right right mm -hmm. so um maybe you should go up to missouri and coach babe exactly <laughs> maybe one of these days never know columbia missouri that's a it's a really great town we it stay is. there every time we go home to visit because it's really close mm -hmm. to 
my hometown and my mom said we can't all stay there with her anymore so we have to stay in a hotel <laughs> that, and that's where, but, that's where your grandparents are from why don't you tell my fans who are watching like what is what is something that pe most people don't know about me that they would be surprised to know and what is your favorite thing about being married to me all right so the and one thing clean this is a clean oh, yeah, show definitely, AJ. Definitely. <laughs> So <laughs> I think what happens, because I, I tell my buddies this all the time, and, and especially when we were first dating, got married, and because you're successful, because you're a powerful woman, you leave it at the door. And when you walk in the house, you become mom and you become wife. Mm -hmm. And you are an amazing servant. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean that in a great way. Like you serve us unconditionally. You do things for us that we don't even expect. Does she not, Libby? I mean, she's phenomenal. I mean, from people wouldn't think that you like you do all the laundry, you do most of all the cooking, I do all the grilling, um, <laughs> cleaning up. Is, I mean, it's just you're always a busy body wanting to serve, and you love to make people feel comfortable, and you yeah. love setting that stage where you get all the food fixed and you get everybody, and then you'll just sit there and watch us enjoy it, and you get more joy out of that than anything else. Yeah, you know, being able to serve your family. So I know that about you. And yeah. what was the other question? What's your favorite thing about being married to me? And what's your favorite thing about being Olivia's stepfather? All right, the favorite thing about being married to you is that you are the best person I've ever met in my life. So that is without saying, I've told you that many times. So I've learned a ton from you and you've taught me a lot. And you've been there for me and supported me through some really you know, tough times at times and in great times as well. But um, your, your, your heart is phenomenal. And then Libby's just like you. I mean, she has that same heart. And she's fun to be around. Li Libby's the same way like you. She loves to have things going all the time. Last night, she took out a tent, was going to go camping outside, out back. I wanted to. She just, she's, I mean, spontaneous stuff. But I love that about you. <laughs> and um, I can't wait to watch uh, Liv's career, how, how she's going to just – Artie is blossoming, and uh, it's going to be – just I mean, because I, I get the opportunity to see it firsthand. I get the front row seat every day, watching how she's matured and grown up, watching her talent. I go upstairs and she didn't, you know, I'm up there grabbing stuff and she's got her headsets on and she's singing away and playing the piano and just watching how much she loves it. And then also watching and listening to the lyrics that she's putting together is just brilliant, you know? So I'm, I'm so excited to be on the front row to watch that. And uh, I hope I can travel the world watching her sing. Me too. Cool. And, and I hope that, you know, Avery and Olivia and Audrey and then your kids are, are so athletic. So Braxton, your son is a quarterback at Alabama. Sarah Ashley is going to be playing basketball at Georgia. She mm -hmm. signed with Georgia as a sophomore, committed to Georgia. I'm going to get all the phrasing right. And then yeah. Harrison is a quarterback at UAB. So our dream has always been that our kids would become so successful. We can stop working. and they Most can definitely. Work. There we go. That's been the plan. That's We're like, coming. you got the music, I got the athletics. One of them would hit. One of them. <laughs> one, <laughs> yes, like, one, one of them would make it. Hit off as an option. Yes. yes. Well, um, and every year on our anniversary, we all text each other and say happy anniversary mm -hmm. to each other because we, we became a family together all at once on yep. June 14th, um, 2008. It's like the Brady Bunch, you know, mm -hmm. when they all came together and – so we are very blessed indeed. But thank you, Daddy Jay, for being on our show. Most definitely. Am I the first one that had to pay to come on? You're the first one that had to pay. Yeah, to Libby yes. made me pay. Yes. I don't know if you knew that or not. This is said I, I had to pay to come yeah, on. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's good. I mean, we're just going to go shopping tomorrow at some, but we'll get you something. Well, yeah. Thank you. And um, I will see you in a minute downstairs in the dining room. Can't Bye. wait. Love y'all so Bye. much. Love you. Okay, Bye. enjoy it. Bye-bye. Thanks, baby. <laughs> that so, was like, awesome. You know, watch him walk up here. Oh yeah, he should. He's like, right oh hey. Say hi. He should have just been behind the closet thing. Yeah. So everybody, listen to the Jay Barker show. It's every day from twelve to two. Um, follow he, it on Instagram. Follow it on Instagram, the Jay Barker show. Uh, he he just started the show two years ago, and he's in a, the building process, and it's going great. It's fun to watch him. Um, you know, build up his listeners and ad stations. Mm -hmm. So we, we've been really proud of him. So anyway, that was fun. So fun. It was, it so was weird. Fun.
It was it's weird. A little bit. When like, he first came on, I was like, this is so strange. I was like, I feel like we're on FaceTime or something. Like, it does not feel like an yeah, interview. Exactly. Which is hilarious. Wow, you look so pretty tonight. You're, Thank you're, you. It's so good that you're leaving and going to that party. Thank we you. We need to say happy birthday to all of you. I was just going to say that. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I think it's A V H R A M. Happy birthday to you. I think we've mastered the art. Oh my God. Happy birthdays. We just know. I At know the end going. of all of these shows, I'm always so hoarse because I scream throughout yeah. the entire yeah, show. Yeah, I, I always am deaf at the end. I I'm just like, never realize yeah. it. Are you going to come to the party with me? No. You should. I lost my voice. Drive with me. I hope Auburn was watching. No, I can't go. I mean, like, it's just you, you know. Come on. You guys. Come on. You know, someone said my eyebrows look good. They do look good. Yeah. You always um, look good. There's one really mean guy who keeps saying mean things. Oh, yeah. You've got to share the mean comment of the week. I should have. His name is Walton. Walton Fish. If you guys see him on this is here, hilarious. he always says mean things. It's weird. I'm excited. <laughs> I wonder if it's like, you know, someone with a fake name or whatever. I don't know. But to um, me, what was like, I going to say also? Speaking of party, have you heard the song Late to the Party by Casey Musgraves? Mm -hmm. I, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I just I love her music. It. Normally, I have it. I don't listen to her old stuff, but yeah. I well, we started it. listening to her with um, Golden Hour. Golden Hour, which, which oh. is amazing. Oh, what song are you gonna play? Heading out. I was thinking about playing that. <clears> one. Play Chris Brown with you. Oh yeah, in honor of your anniversary. So this is the song that Daddy J and I danced to um, for our first dance. After we got married. Um, it's like, that's so iconic. Y why is someone saying my eyebrows hairs. look good? That's so good. Because they do look great. You look great. Today. I love like your hair looks amazing. And I well, you did my hair last night. And so this is less Second over. Second hair is always better. I have to go to KK on Wednesday. She's coloring my hair and, and going to fix so it. so good. But you did this last night. And I like I like the leftover because it's just kind of bendy. Me too. Yeah. And it seems fuller. And everything. Okay, I keep yawning. Why? I don't know why. I it, I just started doing it like ten minutes ago. I just, I'm sorry. Do you need a nap before you go to the party? No. I think you should Uber to the party. By the way. Why? Um, so you no, can I ride like, home with I everyone. Like okay. I mean, it's okay. All you parents. Oh yeah, Walton Fish from Smyrna, Georgia. That's you. I'm gonna block you. Cause you that, say mean that things. That me, Sarah. That me, Sarah. Name that me, Walton Sarah. Fish. Yeah. Learn how to type. Um, okay, so oh, yeah, wow. all you parents understand that when your kids get in the car to go anywhere, it's like nerve wracking and, um, oh, and also really quick before we run out of time, our prayers go out to Hank Williams Jr. and his family. Um, so tragically, his daughter, Catherine passed away, um, yesterday in a car wreck and, and I love that family and I just am devastated for them. So just know that we are praying for you guys and we love you so much. And anyway, um, I'm so glad I remembered to mention yeah. that because it's just, oh my gosh. So love you guys. Anyway, it's 8:29. They're going to cut us off any second. Um, we will see you guys next Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we have a really, really special guest for next week. So um, stay tuned to find out tuned. who's coming. Yes. Now tuning up with you. Yes, <laughs> this was our first dance. Imagine wow. me and Daddy J dancing to this. Which is so iconic. I just, it's amazing. I know. You should be a model. Let's see. I don't know who you're I'm so glad to be we love you. Peace out, everyone.